Hello, in this video we're going to do a price discrimination problem, an example of market segmentation. Here a monopolist sells in two markets with increasing marginal cost. A lot of times these problems will have constant marginal cost where we're going to look at it where we have increasing marginal cost. A monopolist sells its product in two markets. In market one, the inverse market demand is given as follows. And in market two, we have a slightly different inverse market demand. The cost of production is given by C equals 0.5 Q squared, where Q represents the output sold in market one plus the output sold in market two. We want to solve for the profit maximizing price and output level in each market. We're going to do that first by solving for the marginal revenue in each market. So in market one, here's the inverse market demand. Now I'm going to use the shortcut method to get marginal revenue. Marginal revenue is just the inverse market demand with a slope that is twice as steep. So instead of minus 0.5, we're going to multiply that by 2 to get the following marginal revenue equation. So notice here again, marginal revenue looks like the inverse demand, but the slope here is twice as steep. And a similar shortcut method for market two. Here's the inverse market demand. We're going to multiply the coefficient on the Q subscript two term by two, and we get the following result. Now we're going to solve for marginal cost, taking the derivative of the cost equation with respect to Q, the quantity of output. We just get Q. The 2, the exponent here in Q comes down in front, so 2 times 0 0.5 is just 1. And we subtract 1 from that exponent, leaving us with Q just raised to the power of 1, or just Q. And since Q is the output sold in market 1 plus output sold in market 2, we can make a substitution here. So marginal cost is just Q subscript 1 plus Q subscript 2, making a substitution for what Q represents. Now we're going to set marginal revenue equal to marginal cost in each market. So the marginal revenue in market one, set it equal to marginal cost. And let's solve for Q subscript one. So subtracting Q subscript two from both sides and adding Q subscript one to both sides. And now dividing through by two, we have this equation. And we'll do a similar thing in market two, setting the marginal revenue in market two equal to marginal cost. Here's our marginal revenue that we found earlier. And now we're going to solve this for Q subscript 2. So adding 2 Q subscript 2 to both sides, we get the 3 Q subscript 2. And then moving this Q subscript 1 over to the other side. And now dividing through by 3. 21 divided by 3 is 7. And ends up with this equation. Now we've got two equations and two unknowns. So I'm going to just plug one equation into the other. So here's our Q subscript 1 equation, where I have the Q subscript 2. I'm going to replace that with 7 minus Q subscript 1 divided by 3. Now we have one equation and one unknown, so let's solve this. So minus 1 half times 7 leaves us with minus 3.5. And then minus 1 half times minus Q divided by 3 leaves us with this result here. And doing a little simplification on the right-hand side. And now let's move this Q subscript 1 divided by 6 term over to the left-hand side. And so we got 1 Q subscript 1 minus 1 6 Q subscript 1, which just leaves us with 5 6 Q subscript 1 equals 1 1.5. And now finishing this up, we get the output in market 1 of 1 1.8 units. To get the output in market 2, plug this 1.8 into this Q subscript 2 equation. Doing that, the firm should sell 6.4 units in market 2. So those were the output levels we found in each market. Let's get the prices. We'll plug this 1.8 here in market 1 into the inverse market demand for market 1. So making that substitution, the price would be $9.10 in market one. And in market two, we're going to evaluate the inverse market demand at an output level of 6.4 to get a price of $14.60. 
And just one sort of final check, in order to maximize profit, the marginal revenue in each market should equal marginal cost. Let's evaluate marginal revenue at the profit maximizing output level, and let's evaluate marginal cost at the profit maximizing output levels. So plugging 1.8 in for Q subscript one, and then on the right hand side, calculating the marginal cost, we do get marginal revenue equal marginal cost at the profit maximizing output level of 1.8. And likewise, we can double check our answer by making sure that the marginal revenue in market two equals the marginal cost, plugging in our profit maximizing output levels in for these quantities, and once again, we see marginal revenue equals marginal cost. So in order to maximize profit, this condition must hold. Okay, I will stop here.